Hey guys, Daryl Shergan, Quest for Vape here. Today I am doing a review on the Dovepo Executive 5.0. This is a 50 watt box mod with temperature control. You can vape it in regular wattage mode or you can vape it in temperature control. Uh, it has a maximum temperature setting of 600 degrees Fahrenheit and you can set it for Celsius also if you uh, are in a country that you relate to Celsius. I like this guy. Look at how it comes. I believe this is the fireback response from Dovepo uh, to compete with the Vapor Shark. It certainly is about the same size, shape, and dimension. It's a little cutie. Fits nicely in the palm of the hand. It's about the size of an iStick 30 watt, maybe slightly bigger. And it comes with this jellied sleeve. I guess that's what you call it. Let me take that off, which I like. It's nice, fits on there snugly. And this is the Dovepo Executive, I'm sorry, Executive 5.0. Here we go. Look at those nice stainless buttons. I'm gonna put the battery in, you'll see. It's, uh, once it's lit up and powered up, then it's not a reflective, it's not a problem, put it that way. Uh, you can very easily see the screen. This is the bottom. It has an internal charging port USB, and then that is the battery door. So inside the box, and it comes nicely packaged in this snug fitting cardboard. Take this tray out. And it comes with an internal charging cable. It also comes with this plastic disc which you're going to want to hang on to. You can use a coin but then it'll scratch the metal and I really would prefer not to scratch it because it's a, such a nice look at that dark I don't know what you call that nice dark chrome smoked chrome color and it just fits in the slot it takes about maybe 10 turns the threads are very smooth no problem with cross threading, really nicely finished, nicely done. So this is the inside and that little bush button pushes up on the negative side of the battery and there's your slot. You've got six ports, venting ports in case of battery discharge. Here is the inside where the battery goes. So I'm using Samsung 25Rs, I'll just put that in there, positive side up. And I like the finish on this, even without the jelly case on it, that sleeve, it is a matte black, something like, um, like it got dipped in, uh, in, in like, it's got like a rubberized surface coating that's nice, so it's not slippery at all. It grips nicely in my palm, and uh, and it's it's not going to scratch up. It doesn't have a, a like a glossy finish. It's got a, it almost feels rubbery to me in a way. I don't know what that is, but I, I like it. Okay, so to power it on, one, two, three. Oh, there it goes. Didn't take three. Can we see it's not focusing? So it is mirrored, but also the the light is very bright. Uh, you can also set it to vape on stealth mode where you don't have power drain for if you know what's going on and you have it locked while you're vaping and you don't need to see that stuff then um, you can put it on stealth mode. It won't draw power off the battery to light up this display. And it's got, I like the batter, I like the, uh, the power button right here. That fire button is nice and clicky, not loose, not janky. There's nothing shakes around in this. And here's your up and down plus and minus buttons. Um, I'm going to vape this today on the Crown Tank by UL with the NI200 coil in it. Fresh coil, just broke it in, got it vaping, and then hit record. And it's a nice vape. I'm getting a lot of nice flavor. Right now, I do have it set on 600. It's not focusing. Sorry, guys. I don't have a very good focus on my... Well, it's I set it to the maximum limits. This device 
you set it for the maximum temperature control, which I have at 600, and then you can adjust it for wattage. So I have it at 50 watts and 600. If I wanted it to ramp up slower, I could adjust it down to 20 or 30. It goes from 5 watts up to 50. I've got it at the max because I want a fast ramp up time and have a coil that can handle it. New coil on same down. Okay, it asked me if I had a new coil because I put an atomizer on there. And I told it, no, it's the same coil. The instruction manual is very nice, nicely done, good grammar, good, it, it gets the message across. We're dealing in international commerce and manufacturing, so don't expect everything to be uh, Shakespeare, but very good descriptions of what everything does, the functions, how to flow through the menu. Uh, you can go through this instruction manual. It will tell you how to set it from temperature control to wattage mode, how to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and everything else about this unit. Um, what I will say is output wattage from 1 watt to 50. I don't know who's vaping at 1 watt, but if you like 1 watt, you got it. Uh, maximum output current 23 amps. Maximum output current 23 amps. So I guess if you, if whatever you do exceeds 20 amp, 23 amp draw off the battery, it's going to stop you. It's got a lot of safety limitations, which is nice. To ensure constant temperature for the coil, the Executive 5.0 will automatically adjust its output power to meet the desired temperature. The device will prevent the coil from being damaged by a higher than desired temperature scenario caused by low juice, volume, or other reasons. Temperature control is only available when using nickel 200 coil. Nickel 200 coil working resistance range 0.1 to 1 ohm. Temperature con control range 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the standard atomizer working resistance range 0.1 to 3 ohms. So you can, you can rock a 0.1 in wattage mode on this also. That's giving me a nice fast ramp up and I'm getting tremendously delicious flavor. I have Infamous East Coast Vanilla Custard, East Coast VC from Infamous and that is a delicious light vanilla custard and I'm getting all of the flavor notes in it, and it's a nice, dense vapor, um, very cool. Cool to slightly lukewarm is the vape on this at its maximum, uh, 50 watts and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember again, you do not vape nickel NI200 on anything but a temperature control device above that 600 degrees bad things happen so uh, this won't let you vape in regular wattage mode on a nickel coil uh, it reads it executive 5.0 will automatically detect whether a temperature sensing nickel 200 or standard canthal coil is attached when in temperature control mode when the, also, when the battery is too weak to meet the desired wattage, the Executive 5.0 will automatically optimize the power to a certain level. Uh, short circuit protection, low voltage protection, overheat protection, battery reversal protection, overtime vaping warning, power off memory function using 18650 external battery, charger required DC volts 800 milliamp hours, um, charging time 3 to 5 hours. That's nice. And then it goes through screenshots of the different working modes. Okay, so you got your instruction manual, you've got your, uh, if you wanted to charge that 18650 battery with the battery still in the device, you can. Um, I'm not a fan of that. I just take it out. It's just as easy for me to do that. But if you don't have uh, a charger, then you, know, you can certainly do that. I don't know how well. I don't know if there's been any problems. I haven't heard of any. But uh, for me, I just take the battery out, stick it on one of my many chargers. Okay, so that's it. Um, I like the device. It's small, it's rounded, it's smooth, and this surface coating is just really nice, nicely done. Everything about this is just quality. Look at this is how, like, don't go tampering and opening those screws unless you know what you're doing, but that's, that's how this thing is opened up, and there should be no reason for you to need to do that. Um, 
I can't imagine. That's probably manufacturing and assembly. But if you're the kind of person that opens these things up and knows what you're doing, that's how you open it up. Um, there you go, guys. The Dovepo Executive 5.0. I gave it a thumbs up. I don't know how much it costs, but I'm guessing it costs somewhere under $100. This is Dovepo's uh, Fireback competition product for the, you know, it's going toe to toe with Vapor Shark and with the. Yeah, so it beats out at 50 watts, it beats out the 30 and 40 watt DNAs, the RDNAs, it beats out the old Vapor Shark. Um, certainly the IPV. 3LI goes up to 165 watts and then with the upgrade it goes up to 200 so that's got it on power so if you want a more powerful device there you go there's the Snow Wolf the IPV I just got the IPV4 version 2 that's 120 watts and also goes up to 120 joules I believe for titanium this the product is not designed for titanium only nickel so And I will put a link below on where you can buy this retail online or uh, look for it in your local shops. I'm going to guess that this comes in at somewhere under $100. I'm really liking what I'm seeing with the quality out there uh, in products. There's, there's so many different devices now that you can get that are affordable and you can play around with temperature control. What I like most about this is that not only can I set that temperature control, but I can also direct how much power of wattage I want to go into that build. So um, other devices that I've tried so far, if I couldn't uh, set the joules or the power setting or the wattage setting, I found them to be a lackluster vape. A, 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 it took too long to ramp up. Um, this one gives me a nice, nice, quick, thick, intense vape. I wasn't pulling clouds like that. I wasn't pulling vapor production like that out of a couple of other devices that I like just fine, but seemed a little a little on the underpowered side. Really like the way that you've given me the ability to adjust that power wattage output on temperature control. Thank you very much. Well done. Uh, I would say this is worth buying. And I'm not a guy that recommends stuff if it's not worth buying. Thank you very much for watching my channel.